hello everyone welcome to another video and lately i didn't have uh, any time to create some new script and to record some useful video but uh, in this video i want to show you uh, the custom script that i made so the custom script are customly ordered script and uh, if you have access to all my uh, scripts on my website you probably know that you don't have an access to a custom script or if you are thinking about to, to purchase access to scripts so only the scripts which you can see in the shop page uh, and in my blog on my website those scripts you can purchase and then if you want to order the custom script you can fill contact form on my website but this is not uh, for me to brag or anything it is just to show you that if you need similar script you can also create that uh, it is feasible you can do it with dynamo uh, and also uh, the script have some let's say flaws so maybe you will find a way to correct them and i didn't so originally this script uh, did uh, so you have like original idea on my on my uh, youtube channel you can see the original idea and original video uh, you will see the entire script and that script did uh, work only uh, when you need clearance for the cable trace on top and basically whatever you did have as a height for the cable tray uh, the dynamo script will took those elements converted to the solids and then just translated uh, for this height uh, and now the client wanted to have ability to type the amount or the thickness of the clearance and uh, we need to have clearance on top and also we need to have clearance on the sides and it must work in imperial unit type uh, and also it must work from Revit 2019 to 2022 so all that uh, was request and then I created a script. So uh, user interface, it's quite simple. So we have a question if we want to run the script for all cable trace in the entire project, or we want to select some cable trace and fittings. And over here I have some pipe and duct. If you want to uh, select cable trace and cable trace fittings, uh, selection will immediately filter out uh, everything which is not cable tray and cable tray fitting so you can either click yes and proceed or you can you can select some cable trays and cable tray fittings uh, then you must choose a side so either you will now create clearance on top on both sides or combination with top and sides let's go with the top and then you can type what is the let's say thickness or height of that clearance. So in this case, like default value, it's four inches. We can type, I don't know, two, just to be different than four. And now this measurement is irrelevant because we did select just option that we want to have clearances on top, set values. And now uh, the first question is, is that really, just those two inches it is now then let's check if now if i type i don't know 10 inches will that be will that be the same or it will actually be 10 inches Okay, so what about that option that uh, you can uh, create those clearances for all elements? Let's see. Let's now create all four sides and I don't know, let's type six. Okay. So now for sides, we will have some gaps between the solids and uh, 
creating the side clearances is not that easy as the top is. So I will have some, some volumes uh, on the sides, but I will not have continuous solids because uh, I didn't find that easy to uh, select all the surfaces because over here I did select basically this uh, cable tray, but when I wanted to find what is a side surface, instead of one or two side surfaces, I did have between two and 16. So I needed to choose and to create some logic that for the different fittings and for the straight section will pick uh, proper uh, surfaces and then create volumes so that is why uh, somewhere we have a gaps but overall i think if we create a clearance and if something uh, will hit that soft uh, soft area or clearance uh, you will notice that you will have that as a flash um, so i'm pretty satisfied with the results mm, and finally let's see if we can create side and top clearances for example for some piece of, of uh, let's for example create for this part over here so both the top and sides let's type two let's type i don't know five so now we have top clearances and we have also sides and again is it a side five inches it is okay uh, and that's pretty much it so it is not impossible you can do it uh, it takes some time. i did have maybe three or four different logics uh, of course that last one worked uh, okay so I did fail on three, three uh, first logics that I did have. So you will need some time to spend in order to find the proper way. But then, then you will, you will be able to create. Thank you for watching.